Okay, so this video is gonna be about the phone setup screen. This is gonna be the heart of Smarter Contact. This is the engine behind it all. So when you're using an SMS platform, one of the most important things that you really wanna focus on is getting your messages through, and that's the whole purpose of Smarter Contact. So this is gonna be a tutorial on the basic, uh, basic setup of your phones uh, and your phone numbers, and also kind of advanced metrics of how this works and how you can optimally send campaigns with the right phone number. So the first thing, I'm just gonna start at the top and go our, our way down. So the active incoming, you always wanna have some sort of active incoming number set up. This could be your personal phone, this could be your Google Voice, your call rail, any phone number that you have that you wanna receive calls on. So the way it works, just really simple. Let's say you send a text blast and somebody calls that number back, instead of uh, it not ringing, it's gonna forward to any number that you choose here. So this would be your personal phone, call rail, anything you have. Also, what's also really cool is the mobile text alert. Mobile text alerts, what that does is it triggers your phone to get a notification if a hot lead responds. So let's say um, the, the best way to use this is for example, let's say a hot grade. Really, this is what we found is the most effective way. You really would stay away from having everything selected. But let's say you just want your uh, warm and hot leads uh, to send you, uh, to, to get a triggered notification. Let's say a seller messages you at 6 p.m. and you're not on your computer and they say, hey, yeah, hey, John, I'm interested in the lead. You're right, I'm interested in, in, in the property and selling you my property. You're not going to normally you're not gonna know about it until the next day when you log in. So this is gonna trigger a quick text to, to your cell phone with, with the script of the message. So now you know you can just pick up the phone and call um, call the, the seller directly. So just really cool tip here. Here with the phone setup, you always wanna buy a phone number that's in your local market. So if you're gonna be sending a, um, a campaign in your market, you wanna have a prefix that's set up that way. Here's where you buy it. You simply click the area code and you can purchase the number right from here. So very, very simple. And there you go. Now you've purchased a number, it shows up at the top and it's all right there. Um, active outgoing, this is gonna be the current number that's currently selected. Um, so here you can see with the blue check mark, this is the number that's live and being used right now in the software. The way the software works is it's gonna take that number and it's gonna go down every number. So it's gonna go from this number and remember that it's gonna send 200 text messages per phone number. The reason we do that is, is, our, is our algorithm, right? The reason you're using Smarter Contact is to make sure that your messages go through. You don't have to use um, spinner tokens, you don't have to use any of these silly things to get your messages through, but we do have a number routing algorithm which allows you to get your messages through. So using this, it's gonna send 200 to this number and then it's gonna go to this number and then this number and every number after, right? So what you wanna do is put them in an order, sequentially in an order that it's going from one number to the next to the next, right? So um, if you have a campaign, for example, in a different market, you really want to make sure that your numbers are set to the different markets. So let's say you're a 914, you change it and it's going to start the sequence right from here. So just really cool to be uh, aware of that. We also give you some additional metrics on each uh, phone number that you have. So it's going to show you when it was added, when it expires, just some really basic information. And now getting into your legacy uh, system. This is gonna be the heart and soul of the software. The legacy system is gonna be key because let's say you talk to a seller um, four months ago from a phone number and that phone number expires. After that phone number expires, then you, know, you don't wanna be texting them back from an old phone number and that's where the legacy system is gonna shine. What it does is we keep these phone numbers for you Keep in mind, we do charge a dollar per phone number, but it's really valuable because um, let's say you, you maintain a conversation with a seller from four months ago and they text you back, you're gonna be able to pull that same phone number that we used and send them a text back and, and engage them in a conversation. 
Keep in mind, the rule with legacy numbers is they can't be used for campaigns. So a campaign blast, sending out a large blast, that won't work. But an individual message, that would be just fine. So uh, that's where the, the legacy numbers is going to work. Uh, this is just a demo account, but uh, you'll see the phone numbers. You'll see the legacy start date, so when it went into legacy, when the legacy period expires, active conversations it'll show how many conversations you have active you know and what we consider an active conversation is if you let's say send a blast they responded to you and you responded back so at least three messages back and forth we consider that active conversations and here you can track okay maybe i have 20 or 30 conversations going with this number this would be one to keep and if you know there's one or two or three going with this one you can you can pick and decide which ones based on the active conversations and we give you those metrics here so just another huge huge tool you'll see the legacy numbers your first few months you won't because it's three months for a number to expire but after the numbers expire you'll see your legacy numbers stack up and this is where you're going to get the power of the software is over time you're going to have a lot of legacy numbers stored into it. Um, so one thing that we also notice here on the software is our block rate. So I know that's kind of a big, big issue for some, some people in the industry. We, we haven't really experienced this issue too much. I mean, it's a natural thing to happen. Where we see it the most is when people are sending out domain names, you know, www dot, or they put a phone number. But the algorithm here is going to protect you and make sure that your, not your messages don't get blocked. So I did a recent video and we saw our carrier block rate was under half of a percent. It was like 0.4 percent or something. So like if you send out a thousand messages, um, less than about four of them would, um, would get blocked. So it's a really, really low rate compared to most of the carriers. And really this is the, the science and the reason behind it is this algorithm. So um, just, just guys, just really follow the best practices, making sure that you have text merge, you're not using domain names or using you know, phone numbers in your, in your messages, you have at least one text merge field. Um, and you should be fine. You're, you're not gonna have any issues here uh, sending out your campaign. So this is just a really basic intro of it, um, but just really remember to, you know, especially when you're building your relationship with your sellers and your contacts, to have the right phone number set up. So making sure that it's organized. Um, and if you don't know already, you can drag and drop the lead right into the queue. So you can have, make sure it goes one, two, three, four, five, so it's all, stacked up you don't have something that's out of place you know that way it's all organized and it's going to go from this number to this number to this number so hope that helps um, if you guys are still not clear or have any questions about it uh, feel free to reach out to our support team we're more than happy to uh, help you out thanks for watching